is it in my crazy? And I took a shot. Can you please turn football off, Mike? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, usual suspects in the buildings, old faces, new faces, let's go. It's another episode of the Monday mid So It's your co-host, Molly Maul, a.k.a. Mr. Accidental Purchase. Oops, I copped another one. One-fifth of the Fab Five. We got a great show ahead of you. I'm going to let the old Milk Dud introduce himself, and we'll keep it rolling. What's good? It's your boy, Polos and Jays, a.k.a. OG Jay Walker, coming at you live from Dallas, where we still have shoe sitting. And I pass it over to the max headroom of the crew. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Mo, aka Unboxed, aka Full Size Run, potential new aka Mikey Grills. We'll see if that sticks. We're gonna pass it over to aka Bearded Hype Beast, aka <laughs> Davy Jones Locker. Let's get it going. Bitch, you got Tokyos. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I don't want to chime. One legged Lister, your one legged friend, maybe your only one legged friend. Happy to be here tonight. And I pass it off to the man with the plan. What's going on, everybody? It's Kev, Buckeye City Soul, Tito Jackson, Michael Bivens. Uh, I don't have anything new this week, but you know, stick with me next week. I have something nice. Um, thank you guys for joining us on another episode. It's episode number 41. Um, we got one more. One more in the chamber for the season, then we'll go to season two starting back in January. But for today, we have a special guest, Kixology. Elise, what's going on? How you doing? What's up? What's up? Hey, I just wanted Thank to I, I just wanted to thank you for uh you know spending some time with us. Uh, we're a wild bunch. Um, uh, you know, feel <laughs> free, cut loose, you know, don't be shy. I mean, we're you know, we we are not professional, so no big deal, no big deal. But we like to just we like to just jump right into things. So, what shoe started? You know, what got you into sneakers? And now, like, how long have you been collecting? Um, I think it started in like my freshman year of high school because um, I was playing. I was on the basketball team, so it was more like a all the girls would kind of like compete with like the guys and what the guys were buying like that week. And it was just kind of like something that like the girls, they just didn't think that girls could wear sneakers. Mm -hmm. So, and that what really got me like going, I guess, is because I didn't come from like a rich family. So it was literally like fall, you get one shoe yeah. and then like, winter break you get like another shoe to like wear throughout the semester so my parents were just basically like hey like if you want more than that then you're just gonna have to get a job so on my 16th birthday I went and got a job and it kind of was all downhill from there was it at a shoe store <laughs> no, it was, no it was actually at an amusement park okay so. all right all right yeah I wish my daughter uh had that mentality because she expects you know, all these different shoes. She's actually worse than my son. So it's, uh, it's kind of crazy. And then let me, uh, and kind of introduce you a little bit better. Um, everybody, if you don't know Kixology on Instagram, then you need to go ahead and make sure you're following. Um, her, her collection is insane. I mean, you can look at the back wall and see, you know, some of the shoes that she has, but I mean, some of the stuff that she has is just stuff you never see anybody else have. Um, but let's get, so as far as your, your massive collection, What's your grail? Like, what's your favorite shoe? And what's the shoe that you want to add to your collection? Like, the, the if you could get whatever shoe. Um, that's a hard one. I would probably say my grail are my Paris SB Dunks. And okay. the one that I would want to get. Um, Honestly, I've been looking at the Stash Air Maxes for a while. I just can't find a pair that the bubble that I don't feel like is going to just disintegrate on me. Oh, I got you. So that's like been like a rough one for me that I've been trying to find. Hey, all my girls are on StockX. So holler at a StockX. We need that. We need that revenue. Um, so, I mean, with all the kicks that you have, like, how do you go about getting them? Do you order online? Do you go to the store? Um, 
Like, how do you get, like get all your shoes? So some of the older pairs that I have, um, it's surprising that I found um, an indoor or a swap meet that was going out of business. And I just went in one day and told the lady, like, can I go through your stuff? And she's like, oh, I have like a storage. And she's like, you know, just give me whatever price you would. So I just went through her entire store and I found some of like the stuff that I was just like, wow, this lady's just been sitting on this stuff. So um, some of my older pairs, that's where I found. But I mean, the soles were kind of like yellow because one was a display shoe. Mm -hmm. So I ended up like, you know, just going with the white on that part, (laughs) just pinning it over. But I've gotten really lucky finding stuff. I think it's more hunting because I think that stores in LA, there's a bunch that people just walk past and don't even go in. And then you find stuff that is just sitting there. Like it's, it's crazy what you can find if you like really look. That's awesome. So like, what's the climate in LA as far as like when you go to go to cop, like, I mean, we see a lot of people acting crazy and fighting and stuff like we were talking about a little bit earlier. Um, Do you see that there? Do people act crazy like that? Or does it deter you from going to certain places? I feel like the one release that, I, after I camped out for the DB um, nines, they actually had all GS sizes were just um, first come first serve, but then the men's were raffling. Mm-hmm. So even for GS sizes, people like the guys were so disrespectful, but there was one guy that like really looked out for me and was like, basically I was first in line and five people ended up in front of me and I just didn't end up saying anything because that's not me. Mm-hmm. And then he kind of like when the doors open, like pushed me in front of all the people and was like, no, she's first. So I feel like the guys really look out for the girls, like when it was first come first serve. Mm-hmm. But now even that there's like um, when we do the raffles, even when we pick up just to pick up the shoe, people are arguing. And it's like you already won the <laughs> raffle and you're already arguing like it doesn't make any sense. So it's kind of like crazy. I've seen stuff transition to where you see certain people and then you're like, nope, I'm out of here. (laughs) I hear that. (laughs) You're more brave than me because, I mean, there's certain places out here that I know for a fact I'm not going to. And I mean, I've seen, I think it was a video in Marcus's neck of the woods where they were fighting over the the 11s. I'm like, anybody, you could get, if you wanted the 11s, you could get the 11s. If you didn't get them, then I don't know what happened. Maybe you fell asleep. But I mean, I mean, I got quite a few pairs. I just can't. I don't want to say because I don't want to get myself into trouble because people are watching this. Um, but um, let's get kind of out of the shoes a little bit. Um, like I was, I was looking at your story maybe a couple weeks ago or something like that, and you had like I think you were putting together like packages for people or like um, like for less fortunate people. Can you tell us about that? So my sister was actually involved in the Vegas shooting. So um, I think that it affected our whole family to where we kind of sat back and was like, we could have lost her. Mm -hmm. And the phone call that I got was just heartbreaking. Like if you get a phone call from a loved one and saying like, I don't know if this is the last phone call, but I love you and I have to call your other sister and hung up. It was kind of like my whole world shattered. Yeah. So we felt like we need to give back and we need to do more for like our community. So we decided to do a homeless project through the months of, well, Thanksgiving through Christmas. So my sister put together um, lunch bags, socks, um, chapstick, um, gloves, socks, like just in bags. And then we gave them a meal for the day. And then we just drove around, drove oh, around our awesome. community and just passed them out. So um, Christmas, my mom is doing, she's buying all hoodies. Oh, so wow. we're going to go back out and pass out hoodies for Christmas. That's awesome. That's, I mean, that's something that you don't see. But you know what's crazy is that, like, I've noticed a lot of, like, California sneakerheads uh, giving back a lot more than, than others. And, I mean, I wonder, you know, you know what that is, what the, what's about that, that we don't do anything. I mean, I know I need to do something myself. But like seeing that is inspiring, um, you know, to kind of correlate that and make and put something like that together. Um, but let's get into. Okay, this one. 
I mean, everybody knows, you know, people on, on Instagram are bananas. And, like, with you being a, a more prevalent, um, you know, sneakerhead, the female sneakerhead, I mean, you got 88,000 followers. What do the DMs look like? Are they crazy? And what's the what's the wildest or the oddest DM that you've got that you just remember off the top? Um. So whenever I post my toes, that's, like, the most crazy <laughs> I just, everyone is like mostly like really respectful in the way that they talk to me through my DMs. But once I post my toes, like I think some guys said like, can you post the bottom of your heel so I can have it at night? And I was just like, oh my God. Whoa. <laughs> so that's probably like the craziest one that I've gotten. But most of the guys, like I know a lot of girls say that they get like dick pics and stuff. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that. But... <laughs> no, you, hey, <laughs> trust me. You're going to um... hear a lot of colorful language here shortly. I don't really get talking. those DMs. I they're more respectful. I like all the guys are like super like nice in the way that they come at me. So I don't know. Just the toe pictures are really like just. So you know, get, you know, that's the hot button fetishy. there. They don't know how yeah, to handle so I try them. Not to, <laughs> try not to post the toes. You just feeling bad one day. You say, you know, I'm gonna fuck them up today. I'm about to post these feet. <laughs> <laughs> get that, get that, uh, get that boost. But. Here's something else that we've been talking about in between our group. We have a, like a group chat where we all kind of just talk shit with each other throughout the day. And uh, like the term hype beast gets thrown around. Like what, is, what are your feelings on the term hype beast? And what's a hype beast oh. to you? Um, I don't really like to use that word as like, because it's so broad when you say hype beast. Like, like, if I, because I feel like sometimes some of the stuff I do is I'm being a hype beast, but it's like, I'm just excited to get that release. Right. So maybe to others, it might be look like, oh, she's like hyping that brand up, but I'm just excited because I actually want the shoe. Mm -hmm. So I feel like hype beast can be such like a broad, like thing to say, like the word the word sneakerhead is like another term that it's just like, it was so cool to be like a sneakerhead. And now people are like downing the word sneakerhead. So yeah. it's kind of, kind of weird how like things have transitioned over time. Yeah. I mean, I think that there's a lot of different definitions depending on who you are and how you look at things. I mean, and if you look at it as a positive or a negative, I mean, there's some people that glorify hype beast and there's some people that, you know, will will cast you down, you know, for, you know, even being somewhat near a hype beast. And then there's people that can't afford to get certain things that are hype and then they got to destroy you just, you know, based on that. Um, but I, I mean, we all talk about it. We all have a level of hype beast. Unfortunately, Mike is probably at the top of the, the hype beast totem pole. And then you got Dan Daniel. <laughs> Yeah, and then po I would say polos would be next. Cause me, I think me and Ma is at, probably at the bottom. Um, but you know, it is what it is, man. It's still love. I mean, we all we all connect on the same thing. We all get excited over sneakers. So, so like you said stuff about you know like sponsorships or whatever, you know, kind of like so. What do, what do you what is your vision on uh, sponsorships? Or is that something that you know you? would be open to or is that something that you would be looking into or do you not want you want to stay away from that um are you trying to grow Sponsor. a brand like within myself or with like with, other brands like like either with i know because you're because i want to get into what you're doing with your because i know you have a store but like would you be open to other brands or is it just you know you're just trying to get what you have going and and roll with that that way i think i'm open to anything i've I'll be open Don't say to that. people. Mike. Yeah, I'll listen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, you never turn down an opportunity. You always want to listen to what's out there. I feel like because then you can network more by having millions of, you yeah. know, options. So you never should let down an opportunity because you never know what could that could lead to or who's watching. Definitely. So let's let's get into your uh let's get into your product. I um, mean, can you talk? Do you have any handy with you? No. That you can show. Oh, you don't have it. Come on. I don't have anything. Uh oh. Um, 
so can you just kind of tell tell everybody about what it is and then um maybe we can put your we'll put your link in the uh description so they can check it out if that's something you know maybe they want to um support so I used to do hoodies and shirts and keychains and stickers, and then I was doing the mobile stands, and I'm all sold out of those. So I think I'm going to go back to um, hoodie season and do a hoodie from there. Okay. So are you going to do, or like when you're going to go ahead and pass these out, you're going to have a whole bunch of people walking around California with these hoodies on? Just <laughs> That's that advertising. You can write that off as a tax thing. You know, that's perfect. That's that guerrilla marketing. Um, let me open it up to the fellas. I'll see if they have any questions real quick. If they want to come in here and, and yes, sir. Um, so at least we were talking about, you know, the culture and whatnot. So I definitely want you to give us your take on that. Um, like the culture as in like the kids or the older well, people or I mean we can go you know full scale kind of where you see it at now versus where it was a couple of years ago what do you think it's going to transition to you know kind of the pros and the cons which you know and we can get everything in between um I definitely feel like more people are obviously into more selling wise I don't feel like there's that many people that are hardcore collecting, I guess you could say, versus selling. Um, I don't know. I feel like the culture is kind of crazy right now. Um, there's just a lot going on. Do you think it's in a good space? You know, just because, like, obviously, uh, it, it gets a lot of attention. I think it was funner for me, like, when... Because I don't want to be negative, but I just think when college life era, it was like everyone was looking out for each other. And I mean, go back to when Foot Action had discounts on Jordans and you would hook up the homie and then he would look out for you on something else. And I just feel like it's changed so much that it's hard to compare good times to what it is now because but I don't want to be negative about it because mm -hmm. I feel like some people use like some of the older crowd have been through many years of change that they downplay the younger kids and it's like you have to remember that you were a kid too Right. And you probably were hyping up just as much as these kids are now. So the 16-year-olds, you have to go back and say, well, what was I doing when I was 16? Yeah, we might not have had the internet platform, but we were just as, ex as excited for releases that were coming out when we were 16. That's what's up. I, uh, <clears throat> I was definitely not doing anything with sneakers at 16. I was doing all well, of the wrong things at 16 because okay. I, was, I, was, I was poor and living on the streets at 16. So there's that. Dan was decorating toes. Dan, <laughs> Daniel. 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 Daniel was I, doing I, I can't get used to that one. I can't know, get right? used to that one. This Daniel thing, man. I've been calling you Dan for two years. All of a sudden, you Daniel. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's, my, my name has been Daniel since 1981. We have not called you that since 2015. Like, call, so call me Theodore. Call me Theodore Huxtable. Y'all motherfuckers don't listen. My name <laughs> is Marquise. Y'all call me Marquise going forward, okay? Call me Marquise. Yeah. Anyway, oh. what I was saying is I think that the hype beast <laughs> thing, we we thing we were talking about, like, I think there's just, I don't think it's a negative thing. I really believe that there's, like, a fashion side and a sneaker side where those kind of, where those two things kind of run in together, there's that hype beast area. And right. I, that's where that comes from. And then I, like, if you like a sneaker and you want a sneaker and you get stoked about it, cool. Why does everybody act like it's some new shit? It's not new shit. My name is Daniel. Anyway. <laughs> you over here focus, acting brand you acting real brand newbie in over here. I mean, really? Daniel. <laughs> Anyway, we're just going to get mad at me because I'm not going to remember Daniel because I've been calling you as Dan I'm not for five years, so you're going to just be mad at me. Call, Daniel you, call you D. Oh, yeah, that's fine, too. Uh, yeah, I'll call you D, all right. <laughs> oh, we'll back D. <laughs> anyway, I, anyway. I, I have a question. I, I, I do have a question. I, I want to talk about the, the female sneaker community and some of the things that I see. Uh, there's a lot of clicks in the female sneaker community. 
and you don't see a lot of the love shown towards other females. What 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 are your thoughts on that? Because I mean, I I, I you know talk to a lot of the females, and you know I hear different things. And since the community is so small with females, you know I think it should be more unity because there's not that many of y'all. So what what are your thoughts about the sneaker community for the female? Um, I feel like there's a lot of pettiness and it kind of sucks because I feel like, like you're right, we all should be, it shouldn't be a competition. And I feel like some, maybe it's like the different areas. So I feel like if we were to meet each other, we would have different vibes. But when you're on the internet and you've never met someone, one simple thing can be turned into something else like one post or one comment at an actual conversation with them, you would be, you would think differently. So I feel like the internet makes people not, I just think it's like a misinterpretation. Okay. Yeah, that's dope. I mean, I think they no, got, I think to a point guys get like that too, where yeah. There's, there's there's difference. Difference. With guys, you don't say it's, shit about it. It's so many of us that you don't see right. it as much. With the yeah, females, yeah. you can see it because it's it's not a lot, so you can see the pettiness. I mean, I can right. go I can go to to your page and maybe see three or four females that may like your post, and go to another page of a guy and hundreds of females like their post. So I just I, I hate seeing that in the community, you know, especially with the females. I mean, yeah. because I really think y'all should be embracing each other a lot more than, than what we see out there. But that's just my opinion from the outside. Right. But I think, like you said, the, the, you know, uh, social media and everything else, you can't, until you meet them in person, you know, it could be a totally different thing. That's a part of why I like, you know, going to sneaker cons and these other events to see, is this person who they are on social media? Are they same in person or what? Are they different? I mean, for the most part, everybody's pretty much the same. There are a couple that were a little different than they were on Instagram, but Polo, Polo and Jordan, um, would you stop? Oh, did you did you hear what he said? He says, I don't follow female sneakerheads. I follow classy ladies with an affinity for sneakers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got Can a little something. Him? You He's got a little something on your. You got a little something on your nose. Hey, uh, FYI, guys, you can't points. see the chat, so <laughs> trying to get them points. Hey, hey, Polo be working hard, boy. I was about to say, man. Yeah, he was working hard. What was it last night? That was um, last Brandon night. Rogers. Uh -huh. <laughs> he said, "What did he say? Something about I, I got to do this until I go back to prison." <laughs> I was like, "Damn, damn!" He's trying to get a free. He said he's trying to get that free hoodie. Hey, at least he's honest. I want a free hoodie. <laughs> So, and whichever one of you bastards hit the down like or a dislike yeah. button, f you. You know, know who it is. It was at one cent. It's you know all right, it dude. It's all good. And that's all he worked. That's all that motherfucker worked. One Mr. cent. Mr. Drummond's adopted son. Oh, okay. Looking ass. Anyway, I'm going with odd anyway. dislike. Don't no, anyway. Dislike I know it's real. It's all good. Let's keep it real. It's, it's still engagement. That's what I'm saying. It's still engagement, and it's still fine. Anyway. Don't bother me none. What's coming out? I would like to know. Why are you Marcus. looking like that? <laughs> That's you, old man. Marcus, you ready? I'm trying to. I'm, yeah, I'm. I'm ready. Hold on. All right, I'm gonna lock. I'm gonna lock. I was looking at comments. And stuff. <laughs> you gotta warm the steam engines up over there. <laughs> really? <laughs> give him. Give him the blue pill. Whoa, no. Lord of Mercy. No thanks. Take that, warm the steam Take that yesterday. Wow. Could have done without that. Let's keep going. <laughs> you asked for us. Yeah, I started Gross. it. So You're right. Don't I, come for me. I don't do. come for me. I, we, anyway, no coming we got this sock, this sock and grid, 8,500, just ramen. Ramen. It looks kind of dope. It looks like it has some nice little plush leather on there. Yeah, it looks it look pretty dope. Anybody? What's your thoughts on that? It looks, looks all nice. right. I mean, that's just a shoe that you buy and then, like, Ten months later, you're like, "Oh man, I forgot I had this, and I'm still not gonna wear it." <laughs> yeah. I can't afford that's it. A, have it. <laughs> that's a that's a Ryan Swinger joke or joint there. Yeah. yeah, exactly, Frankie. Yeah, exactly. That's a Ryan Swinger thing all day long. Yeah. yeah oh yeah, like Dan a, Daniel Dabs. I can see him rocking that too. Like a J. Yeah, Crew Dabs, sweater. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty dope. Though. I like it. And here's here's one of Dan's favorite. Mm -mm. The Bordeaux. Yeah. 
or is everybody calling it the wine five? Mm. Yeah, I'm whining at that price. I know. He didn't say it. I don't no. care. I cannot. I cannot wait for that shoe to get here. I'm so excited about that shoe. Wait, like, did you order it already? It's already out. Yeah. Oh. It's part of the triple pack. At least, what do you what do you think of the Bordeaux five? The premium um, one. You could be honest. You could be because I don't. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, don't, honest, I, don't I don't really care for it. It's not. It's not something that I would get. <laughs> She's been extra nice. It's just something that I would get. She really that is, it, that thing that is, is the kindest pass I've heard ever. Yeah, yeah. like it's like for real. It's, you're gonna have to like you're gonna have to go ahead and and swallow that kindness pill and <laughs> just move on to like the I'm gonna be an asshole tonight because there's a point of the of, of the night where we're gonna play a game called gas ass or pass and you're gonna have to look somebody dead in their face and tell them your shoe, your is, shoe ass. is ass. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. and that's and that's gonna be okay and that's gonna be okay. Like this shoe isn't for everybody, but it is definitely for me. Like I love, love, love this shoe. Like I like all. I've gotten all the <laughs> premium five that come out, and it's it's the business. Honestly. Marcus sounds gross. Seriously, <laughs> what is you going on gross. over there? <laughs> all right, then we got the women's foam posit one shine, which I know a lot of women are excited about this. They're getting their own actual foam posit. Just they got the they got the they got, the, they got the, the, the shoe right though at least. I mean, yeah, it doesn't yeah, look they, like a they didn't write on this shoe. Exactly, they didn't write on this shoe, and I'm I'm glad that Nike is paying attention to stuff like this because, you know, I mean, you can't single out the women. Like the, from the, stuff the like color this. is eh, but it's ass. they're working. They're working. Color. They're working it's in like the right direction. Seaweed. Yeah, but they got the toe box. Do you have any um, foams, Elise? No. No. What do you think about this toe box? <laughs> I don't <think> it. <laughs> really? Right about... after the whole feet comment? <laughs> what do you think about this toe box? <laughs> not toes. Not toes. I'm not asking you about your toes. I'm asking <laughs> about your toe box. The, the foam for GS or women's sizing has always been that weird, like, slanted toe. Sharp. I guess mm-hmm. elongated. And then with this pair, they've actually given the ladies the normal looking like rounded off toe. So I was curious to think about what you thought about that as a, a female sneaker community. Foams have never looked good on my feet, but that's just my personal preference. So that's why I've never really gotten into them. So, but I'm interested to see what these ones look like, that's like true. on foot versus the little ones. I ain't got Some, no foams either. Don't yeah, those bad. little ones look mm-hmm. like triangles at the tip. Look, I so guess crazy. they like two. <laughs> Like slanted, it's weird. Yeah, got no foams, no foams. Mexican cartel shoes. <laughs> I know you don't got no foams. The only foams you would get is Galaxy. I got, I got foams. Par- par- not you. Oh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if it ain't a K, I don't want it. <laughs> well, I gotta be a K. You know what? Keep going, Mark. I ain't entertaining y'all tonight. Talking. All shit. right. So then we got the women's Air Max ninety seven Bordeaux. I don't know why they didn't make this for me because I think it's pretty dope. Yeah, that's yeah, not bad. Like but yeah, I don't like need that. it though. They, they no, okay. We don't need anything. None of us. Yeah. No, none of us need anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a pretty dope shoe here. Uh, then women getting blessed with them. All black. Those are Man, trash. Precise. All black. 97. Those, okay. are, those are trash. It's, 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 y'all see the white midsole, right? It's not all. It's not all yeah, but it's still, I don't like it. We, we don't need your corrective ass. Hit <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, you're you're wrong. Jesus Christ. <laughs> a, little, wrong. Too, a little too black for me. Whoa, racist! <laughs> the racist. shoe, damn it, the shoe. I didn't expect. I didn't expect that. You know Why that? did you click on this? Why did you click on this shoe? Because it's a shoe that's coming out. I don't know who may not want this. I mean, it definitely looks like something Maul would wear. I mean, this looks so like a, this looks like a shoe that you you had to be a gym teacher. Mike used to wear before he got down with the crew. I mean, probably. Hey, 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 hold up, hold up. Anybody, anybody going to run some trails later? Like, skip this. This is the shoe that Daniel wears before run. he goes to take pics in his shoes. No, I did not. I don't have any of them. Yeezys. Okay, so we, we're going to skip everything for Dan. We're going to go down here to the next Nike Air Max OG Anniversary Obsidian. Is that yeah. blue or black? It looks black. It's, it looks it's, black. Obsidian. Blue. it's obsidian. obsidian. It's obsidian. But it looks, but it looks black. I think it would be doper if it was black. I mean, the blue, eh. If it's blue, it's I don't like know. A, it it kind of like has an ashy, ashy look to yeah. that obsidian. I, I think it's like a dark navy. It's like a dark navy. I think a just black the, would be doper. It's obsidian. 
Yeah. Or a lighter blue would be dope as well. Well, I mean, I know the name, but it looks in the in the pictures, it looks right. Black. Maybe in hand, it's a little. Yeah, I pass. I saw I saw you skip. I, I, I don't know who made Dan and Maul Professor of Sneakerheads tonight with all the like, directions <laughs> and shit. I'm not trying to hear that shit. Hold up, go back. To the the one, you take a sip and keep scrolling. Hey, that uh, what's That's that? Not that, true. that, you, that, that pro, that that pro that fear. PG. Oh, the PG one. Yeah. Uh, I'm, like that, I'm done with that PGs, shit. man. That's done. Horrible, man. No. Uh, yeah, I don't. I mean, it looks like that side part is made like a tennis ball material. It is. It is. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. 2007. That's what Peanut said. If you want to dress like you're back in 2007, this uh, is the shoe for you. I don't, I don't. Well, Dan, that's the shoe for you, then, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> it's your wide leg jeans. <laughs> I ain't got the wide leg jeans, motherfucker. <laughs> Wow. I'm glad I'm back on. All right. Let's go down here to the Air Jordan 6 like Mike or the Gatorades or whatever yeah. you're calling. The Guild Trip 6. A couple of people already have those, have had them for several months. Since September? September, yeah. what, 23rd, right? Yeah. I think we need to check that tag on there. But you got that. But you <laughs> better not have that cloudy hang tag. <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't gotta, I, definitely, I definitely went and checked. I went and checked. <laughs> it, it, it would be quite painful. If, <laughs> It's not. Did you get? Uh, you got to get hey. the tape measure out. Oh. <laughs> There's no loss on that. You know, there was no currency exchange. So, uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, there was. Wait. For the so free it was it? No. For the free team. <laughs> Shit. Well, yeah. press it. Yeah, so garbage. Excuse us, little people. Oh, that. That, that made it worse. That. Little people. Little. Don't I haven't seen this Air Jordan 11, so I'm not going to even click on it. Hadn't heard nothing about it, so we're going to bypass that. Unlock character. <laughs> <laughs> but then we got this Yeezy Power Face Black. Ugh. Calabasas. Stop it. Stop Calabasas. it with these Beavis and Butthead shoes. <laughs> these things are terrible. Yeah. Do you like these at least? The Yeezy Calabasas? Um, No. Classics. They, they remind you of like those nurses back in the day. Yes. <laughs> yep. Remind me of somebody named Chauncey just walking around and his shoes squeaking. <laughs> he has some little shorts that's a little bit too little. He's like, his shorts is two inches too small for a man. What's the um, <laughs> Adidas Pro Fear? Pro Fear? Yeah, th um, somebody was talking about, about those. Huh? Yeah, Maggie was. Yeah, yeah, they're uh, they're up on here. they're up on the last one, because yeah. I think Kais was talking about those. Kais and somebody else. Oh, with the, they got that big JC. old outsole. I think JC was talking about it in one of those in one of their yeah. vlogs. Yeah. Anyway, and then we got the thirty twos, and then there's these. And then let's go to the shoe that's gonna drive everybody crazy this weekend. I need. <laughs> I need a size Can somebody thirteen. I need to flip. I need something to flip. Yeah, these are flippers. Yeah, I, I, want, I want a pair to wear. I do want a pair to wear. Though. Yeah, I mean, you already have a pair. Why would you keep going after more? Right, just get one and be done. All you need is one. All you need is one. Don't get sucked into that black hole. Said right. no one ever. Listen, all y'all need to go on mute. Right. All you need is one. Y'all got multiples of everything too. I've got rid of I, all my Yeezys. I have no Yeezys. You don't, you don't like them though. You don't like Yeezys. You don't like. It's them. not that like they're comfortable, but like they're kind of like ultra boost to me. Like. I really only needed one pair. And then like after I just had the one pair, I was just like, man, I don't even care. But I mean, yeah, I think like, these, I think these are different enough from the Beluga 2.0s to suffice. Oh, the hell of different. Buying, I mean. Yeah, well, yeah, they're like they're like if you washed a pair of zebras with a dark blue shirt, like this is what you get. Well, I'm not trying to Pretty pay $500 for the zebras. I go ahead with the dark blue <laughs> denim wash. And yeah, rock it proudly. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just saying, like these. I think zebras were the best easy release to date, um, outside of the Nike ones. I the like the, I like the beluga. I like the beluga. I like the original the beluga ones, ones and the zebras are probably on par with each other for me. Those belugas are still holding strong too, as far as the resale price. I just yeah, checked yeah. into that. Yeah, those and the breads are pretty. pretty yeah, solid on resale. Shoot, make me wish I would have held them instead of selling them for seven fifty. I saw them. Like nine thousand uh, now. Hey man, at least do you like these. Do you you like can buy them? mine. What are you talking about? <laughs> um, do you do you like the blue tint Yeezys? Me? Yes, ma'am. I, li I like them. 
There we go. Okay, we got one. I was about to say, there we go. The first, first of the night. We got, we got one shoe that she's liked so far. So we're <laughs> all right. Progress. Yeah, we're getting there. All, all right. right. So with that, we're gonna move on to the weekly releases. No, that was the weekly pickups. Weekly pickups. I, don't know, I guess I'm gonna go first because I only got one. Oh, with all you multiple kick buying people, I just finally got the Dorn Becker Toyo. Uh, no, pretty no, dope shoe. Good. Only thing I dislike about this Dorn Becker, the laces or the laces. I knew it. Them the laces. Laces. Hey, switch them. They come. Horrible. They come. They come with us. A different lace. I suppose mine. And I took the pizza out too. <laughs> I'm okay with the pizza, man. I mean, I mean if that. you're gonna wear some some shimmery, look like some Gloria Stefan pants, if you're gonna wear something like that. <laughs> nah, I don't need <laughs> that. Well leave the pizza on there. No, nah, I don't need the pizza. Yeah, them laces had to go. That pizza looked like one of those rings that you get at the dentist when you were a kid. You know, I had a little treasure box. <laughs> and then like you'd be doing something and it break like five minutes after you left. You'd be mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! And that's that's all I got. Just just doing back to twelve. I think that's my last pickup of twenty seventeen. Lies. That's not true. Stop it. Yeah, that's that's not true. true. For myself, I'm picking up the Yeezys yeah. this weekend to pick them up. For so me. What about the what about the sixes? You're not getting either one of those Gatorades. I mean the 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 ones that come out this weekend gonna sit. No, those not going nowhere. So I can wait and get those next year. Now the ones come out at the end of the year. I may play for my first. With them. Huh? No, when the price drops. I mean, unless you want to send me yours, man. I mean, then yo, that y'all suck. <laughs> Who Why next? Put so much emphasis on the y'all. Because I have to remember. <laughs> oh, Mike, are you up next? Or you want me to go? Yeah, I go. That's cool. I only got a couple. For me, kept it nice and simple. Andy it's Pack, twos, man, red. You had to follow in my shadow. You of know, course. I mean, I mean, that's, that's, that's how he do. That's what it that's is. That's how right? he do. Oh. Hype beast yeah. copycat. That's all you are. I, I got, I got two shoes: the Miss Blues and these. What? And that's the thing. If y'all saying I'm a hype beast, getting all this hyped up stuff, how am I copying y'all? Then that means y'all hype beast too, because we're no, no, a no. hype beast copies. I'm, I'm eclectic. What you're doing? I'm eclectic. Okay. So am I. I'm eclectic. No, no, you were no. you were <laughs> spell it, spell it. You're a swagger jacker. You are swagger jacker. Yeah. Swagger jacker. That's your new nickname. E.L. Click. Back up from the mic, sir. I need you to back up from the mic. <laughs> yes, sir. Ew, gross. I'll do that. I don't know. That was real throaty. <laughs> yeah, my, my ear's dark in there. And then, y'all know y'all like that. Be quiet. And then uh, I picked up oh, no, the, uh, not. Mellow 12s. Yeah, those are dope. I like those. Yeah, I need those. Those are dope. Love, 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 love this. The Carolina blue, all white upper. Love it. Love it. I went heavy on the Carolina blue this week. I thought you don't like uh, playing plain shoes. I, I like color. I mean, I like white and I like color. Ah, uh, there you go. So I just don't like black. So I'm not <laughs> black. <laughs> Here we go again. Dig a hole. Are you, are you in my history? <laughs> <laughs> so you like right. colored folks. You don't like black folks. You like colored folks. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> I'm going. I'm done. All right. All right. I'm done for the year. I'm go. done for the year. Let me go. Um, the, uh, me too, Marcus. I'm All right, I'm gonna show two two at a time right here. Um, and shout out to uh, Portland oh. Portland Kicks. Uh, he sent oh. me these. Uh, oh, nice for, for baby Cameron. You know these. You know these will be worn probably in the next year or so. Um, but nice, you know, nice. I have. Uh, well, I don't have these, but I got the the Pantones. Um, but yeah, man, I thought these were dope. And I mean, it's just awesome to see you know people in the community still doing like we were talking about earlier still doing for others uh he sent me this didn't ask for you know any money or anything like that and then also shout out to mike too because he sent me a bunch too for camera she's gonna she's decked out i know my my daughter kaylee she's all like uh mm-hmm. she's got more shoes than me so we need to <laughs> go ahead and even this up i'm like well her shoes are like 50 dollars, and you're trying to get 170 dollars a pop so um well let me start let me start at the bottom here with the uh, what are these twenty nines? Yeah, Tra- the they're trash. Oh, the man. Uh, <laughs> no, I had to do that to get this. It was cheaper to buy the pack than it was just to buy the thirteen. So why not That's get the thing. why not get the pack? I mean it. So got that. Hold um, up, real quick, Kev. So before y'all sit here and say I'm biting y'all, I did tell you I'm looking at those two. Oh God. Well, after I told you that, I already got them. 
Wait, hold on. You know what? Yeah. I'm showing your damn figure. Right. Right. Yeah, keep going. Yep. Your um, next package from I did, is I did cop I did cop these um from uh VMX, uh billionaire boy events. Uh shout out to him um for the little fair price. I was looking at I've been looking for these, but I just didn't want to pay a bunch. Um so he hooked he hooked it up with a you know a fair price. And uh nice. you know, make sure y'all go shout with the homie. Uh, shout out to uh Soul Assassins. Um then 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 I did get the D B and I did switch the laces out and like I said I took the pizza out. I thought um uh, I think they look a lot better that way. Um I got a I took a picture on Saturday, it did really well. Yeah, that was uh, a dope pick. That was a real dope pick. Thanks, man. But yeah, these are I, I like these so much better in hand than I did. But I tried to get them before cutting, but I ended up copping on StockX. Then these <sighs> Yes. LeBron 15. I love these, man. I mean, the, the LeBron 15, I really like a lot. And I can't wait Gosh. until the all red ones come out. Molly. See you in Christmas. Molly. See you in Christmas. I can't wait to, I can't wait to you pull out all them terrible ass uh, Kyrie's. The fours. The fours. By the Curry's, he was crying on, crying about on YouTube for the trash. Like, he's, he's, trying, he's trying to work that, work it in there. Yeah, but uh, I think that's, I think that's, uh, that's it. All right, I'll go. All right, oh, here we go. So, I got this in today. Ooh, ugly Christmas sweater. It's Wait, you got those already? Damn. Oh, Thursday. Yeah, yeah Thursday. I yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I got, so I got these, and then I got. Uh, LeBron 15. You can't. It's the same one Kev just had, but he has better lighting. But yeah, LeBron 15, which is dope. And then I got the Altitude 13s, uh, which right. are dope. The leather. Too early. Too early. And I got the green Gatorades. Uh, left shoe hang tag or right? It was on the inside, right? No cloudy thing. <laughs> so I got these, and uh, that's my pick up. But I also, I also picked up. I want to, I want, I want to fight with Nike like, a little bit, like or not Nike, but UPS. Like I picked up the uh, Kyrie Hybrid because they reserved it for me, and mm -hmm. they shipped it, and it went from Memphis to Gainesville, Georgia, right? From Gainesville, Georgia, it was supposed to come to my house, and then that bitch went to Orlando. Wow. So you went to Disney World. That's, yeah, that shit was in Orlando, <laughs> and I called them today. They're like, "Oh, stand by," and then they showed me this other guy, and then they they put they put in a um, what do you call it, an investigation. Yeah. So, oh, that that's that, gone. That pair is gone. Yeah, so oh. I, I I'll be getting my money back on that pair. So that's that. They give you a Damn. discount for UPS? No, I got uh, military. I got my military discount. I always get a military. Oh, okay. Discount. Uh. I've had that happen before, and the shoe end up arriving. Yeah, I'm about to say it's probably going to show up at some point. Yeah, I, I hope so. I what hope are so. what are those going for on StockX? They're not on StockX, oddly enough, but they are really? on eBay for two fifty five. Wait, uh, they're not StockX? No, the blue pair oh, is from China, and, and they're one fifty. So I'll be picking those up. The blue pair is not bad. I, I like both. I just wish the blue that pair is one fifty. The pair, yeah. the pair that that Ma got. The only thing I don't really care for is like the. That oh, off, that man. off white, around the ankle, like a mummy thing. <laughs> the toe, the toe box is tight though. Shout out to the toe box. Boy, y'all love them toe boxes, don't you? Who next? <laughs> that, is, that is for sure. That is for sure about to be the hashtag for the thing. Speaking of toe like boxes, box. Elise, what, what? You got any recent pickups? <laughs> Just sitting over there quietly. I know. I told you guys I was shy. Um, no, I actually just helped out everyone that needed the 11s. So um, I thought that was a little bit too much red for me. So um, oh, yeah, yeah, I just okay. gave everybody retail. Wait, I'm sorry. Is that a red October <laughs> behind you that I'm looking at? <laughs> really? There's a couple of red. <laughs> it's, like, it's too much red, but I do have a red right. I saw first thing I said, red okay, October. Okay, and gotcha. Jordan, though, because it's like a shiny material. So... And I, and I didn't really like the mesh part, I guess, red. It looked weird to me. I don't know. Maybe it was just me. You're trying. But she said, you're I'm doing from, a good job. From Bompton. 
<laughs> so I'm not trying to get shot over these. Yeah, gang, I gotta clean that up. Gang member <laughs> eleven. <laughs> All right, Ma, what you got? Um, nothing exciting. I got the ugly sweater SVs as well. Wait, what? Cheesy the snowman. Yeah, yeah, hold that. And then I did get mine got delivered. Oh, I actually picked them up in store. I got another one on the way. Carry S1 mm. hybrid. So um, to Dan's point, I was expecting another pair, the China pair, the Asia exclusives, but I think it delivered today, so maybe next week. And that's it. Just two per. Yeah, those uh, those are nice. After last week's 14. I'll give, I'll give you that one. Those those ones are nice, actually. The baby shoes and the Christmas ones were super cute. And <laughs> I'll be the buying dunks. all these dang baby shoes. That's the fun part, Kev. <laughs> Man. He's I'm gonna send you I'm gonna send Kev a, a baby shoe that I, I I saw you posting some baby shoes, uh was that on, on Snapchat? Yeah. Yeah, she had and, those. and on the ground. She had the navy joints. Yeah, those uh, pink elevens. Uh, Thirteens. Oh yeah, that was a twelve C. I was looking at that like, hmm. <laughs> Well, you about to have a little? You about to have a shorty? Another one? Who? You? I got a baby girl. No, uh, how old is she? That's four. I'm she's saying though, that, twelve. That, that ba- oh, okay, okay. 12, she wears that's, that size. That's, pre- that's her preschool size. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought she was past that. No, nah, you you gotta you gotta circle back on on your toddler preschool grade school size. Hey man, it's been a while, dude. My... That's what I'm saying. You gotta circle back. You gotta re up. <laughs> My daughter's don't 13. Get the she's thirteen bottoms. years old. She's over here wearing grown start, women's shoes. You start the two C <laughs> hard bottoms. Boom. All the way up to size ten, and then they get even more expensive. Mm, don't say that, oh, man. I got twins wanting vapor maxes right now. I was like, oh mm-hmm. hell no! I need nothing for you, hype hey, beast. I know. Little I might Kevin, do it. Little Kevin wants some. He wanted some Yeezys, but he know not to ask for them. He just get that Call of Duty. Yeah, <laughs> that Call of Duty's on point. Oh lord! We just lost, we just lost Daniel's son. Wait, I was but, thinking. Um, it got quiet. That's what I was wondering. Well, it happens. But anyways. Anyway. That's everyone's pickups, right? That's it. That's it. All right. So let's go to topic number one. Wait, 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 uh, wait, 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 wait. You know, wait, yeah, man. Wait, I, we got to go to the gap. But we, we don't have the gap, gap, man. Then fill in. Let's go. You've done it before. You got nah. it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Hold on. We first. Arr. First, you guys are getting out of line here. We gotta. <laughs> we gotta pay homage right. uh, to the eight nine. Everybody, make sure you get your. Your uh, audio together. I'm about, to play, this, I'm about to play this commercial. Actually, it shouldn't be that bad. I thought we fixed it last week. If it's wrong, let us know. But here you go. <laughs> Could have just circled back to the gap. We are at the gap, Arr. and we are. We're waiting. For, we're gonna. We're gonna talk a little bit before you know. Wait, see if, you know, Daniel Ladies and gentlemen, up. boys and girls, it's your favorite part of the show. I know it's my favorite part of the show because I get to talk the most. Arr. Sometimes, but not all the time. And uh, actually, I should MC this because I'm not participating in this. Uh, event. All right, so you can moderate since you're not gonna participate. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm be the one that decides the winner because I'm just gonna right. start. No, no, no. You can't do that because you're a hater. I'm gonna start. Anyway, destroying people's. <laughs> Mr. Mock has actually chose this gap, and uh, he couldn't think, so he just had to pick the oldest shoe in the collection. So that's what we're going with. Mike's oldest shoe is from 2017, a la Hype Beast, but. Oh. Um, <laughs> I hate all y'all. Yeah, I hope your basement. Real. I hope your basement floods. That's cool. I'm, oh, I'll, I'll come to VA. I'll cut you. You gonna cut him because your basement yeah. flooded? Yep. That's displaced anger. That, nah, he's speaking that to the, to the universe. <laughs> His fault. <laughs> no, I'll just must you go ahead. Sorry. That's all right. You being sneaker con New York will cut up Tokyo's. Ooh. Ooh. No, nah, I can't to, wear the Tokyo Z. You have some Nagasaki's. We <laughs> <laughs> some sushi. That's what you're gonna do. Cut them up like a sushi roll. Shit. All of a sudden, you're gonna see mail in the house. Like, oh, this, this picture of Tokyo's with a price tag. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how much money. Oh, yeah, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that now. I 
No moss. No moss. Yeah, okay. She can't. She can't. Right, sound like, we're gonna house sound like Kobe. We're going to go ahead and start on the gap. Right yeah, yeah, we can start. Chit, chit. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and go first. Well, wait. We got to introduce the gap. So the game is gap. It's gas, pass, or pass. Gas will get you two points. Pass will get you no points. Pass will get you one point. Uh, as I said, the theme for this gap will be the oldest shoe in your collection. And we will let the oldest man on earth go first. Ooh. BC. Well, the Omega Man. You know, yes, I, I did pick this segment, you know, and it kind of it kind of saddened me after I did so because I thought about all the shoes I did once have that were a lot older than the one that I'm showing, but this is the only one that I have left from my older collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and show my 1997 OG uh black and red mm. 12. Nice. Uh, people want to call them flu games or whatever, but this is the OG. This is not the one of the last one come out this year, last year, or whatever. And as as backup and proof of that, there's the box. Hey. The boxes don't have that. You got the jump man. This is when they were still rocking Nike boxes mm. uh, back in the day. So yeah, this is the original black and red. Charlie Chaplin. Jordan, Jordan 12. <laughs> still wearable. I can still rock it. I mean, it's a you know, the material on this shoe is, is great. I mean, I still wear it. I just wore it probably about a month ago or so. And I've got all of the OG 12s from 97. And that's Did you wear it out the, out the house or in the house? Uh, huh? Did you wear it outside yeah. the house or in the house? I wore it outside the house. I wore it to the, to the mall, actually, to go pick up some shoes. Okay. I'm very proud of you. You, you left the house mall? in Jordans? I you left the house in shoes. I mean, I'm not the Flintstones. I don't walk around barefoot. You got, some, you got some Birkenstocks right by the door. He just throws on. <laughs> you got them uncle, them uncle grill shoes, mm -hmm. them sandals with the holes in them. Yeah, at least just just so you're caught up to speed. Marcus got all those shoes, but he'll never wear them out the house. All his pictures are indoors. I mean, yeah, I'd take indoor pics, but that's only because. Uh -huh. look, I'm, I'm curious. Some people wear sneakers out the house as when he came to meet us. I'm 25. Stuff. No, sir, I wear sneakers daily. 40, 40, I'm 45 years. 45. Old. You okay. might, oh, you're Michael Jordan to come back. I, I don't want to be Stop standing right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. I don't. Stop interrupting me, little boy. No, 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 no. Uh, 40, 45, that's not true. <laughs> look, just let's, because you look 12. Real age. Just because you look 12, we're going to have to move 15. 15. 12, you hadn't even hit puberty, but okay. 15. He got a little goatee. Give me 15. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm not one of those people who's comfortable standing outside snapping pics. Why everybody's walking around talking about look at the old man with the socks and the sneakers on <laughs> taking pics and all that kind of shit, you know. So I'm just I'm not comfortable with that. Oh, I mean, oh, you know, oh, oh, mommy, oh. mommy, what's that old man doing? Right. <laughs> He's over here snapping pictures at me. <laughs> right. You actually care what somebody else thinks what you're doing? Really? I really don't, but I don't be wanting to cuss a motherfucker out either at the same time, you know. <laughs> the, the the black population of where I live at is one percent. So, you know, I don't need no handcuffs in my life. <laughs> They put that red dot on your house. Right. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I don't need it. So uh, okay. But yes, that is my my shoe, the '97 black and red Jordan 12. All right. All right. So who who's gonna go first? Elise, what do you think? Gas, ass, or pass? To which one? To Marcus's '97 um, black and red 12s. Um, those are the ones that I actually have, so I guess oh. I have to change. <laughs> oh, see, that's what happens when we don't do it the way we normally do it. Yeah, uh, so okay. I do have, I do have another pair that I brought out too. So just in case, because I didn't know if everybody was going to have what. I mean, because I, I can go and grab the playoffs. I can go get the obsidians. I mean, hey, you should have got the obsidians because they better. Mm. And you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going, I'm going to pass on both of them because I passed in '97, and I didn't get them until just now. I mean, I like them, but they're not my favorite twelves. Like I rather have, uh, I rather have an Obsidian. I rather have a Cherry. I rather have a Taxi. I mean, so I'm, a, I'm a pass. Cabs here. Yeah. <laughs> Mo, uh, I'm a pass. I had a chance. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on them. I mean, I got them for my son. It's too much. It's too much black, man. I I told you that. It's not. You know, I like the shoe. I got it for my son. I just passed on it. I had a chance. You need Jesus. 
Uh, all right, Marcus. Although I normally don't like to admit it and give you any credit, those are gas. I mean, not only those are first of all, those are that's when it happened. Those are the flu games. You know what I mean? Like right. outside of anything else, that is the shoe. You can't pass up a bread anything, let alone a twelve of flu game. So I'm gonna gas that up. I'll even gas it times two if that's still gonna be Elise's. Um I didn't see what the chat was saying. So let me just scroll right, up right right quick. Usually Dan's job gas. I see a lot of gas, so we're just gonna. I'm sure it's gonna give so you that honorary be gas. Four, gas X. What? So it's four, y'all. Four gas. Two four. Four gas no, no, no. and two pass, right? Three. Well, oh, and in the chat. I'm, I'm pretty sure Dan would gas that too. Or you know, it's an OG we're color play. We're, we're, oh, we're gonna have to. We're gonna hold his. Vote. We're gonna hold <laughs> no, his. No, we'll, 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 circle, we'll circle back. But all right, so all it's, right. it's four. Four gas, two pass, so that's ten. Yep. Marcus I go next. Gets to ten. At least, are you gonna stay with yours? Are you gonna stay with yours? And no, you I'll change mine. You are gonna change it? All right, all right. He'll switch it up. Well, can, like, I, can I change mine? Can I change no, mine? No, 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 no. You can't change yours in the ninth inning. You might. You're in good. You'll be in good shape. You should be in good shape. You'll be I. Right. She's like, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I'll stand no chance. So you're in good shape. Oh, playing spades. Like, take that. <laughs> all right go ahead go ahead mike Mo. all right so we're gonna give a little story i don't need a story to show this you guy oh seven went to college oh, man. a lot of my shit got tossed so once i got out of college because i wasn't working in college i had to start buying after i got out of college so ie what shoe is this you're holding i'm, I'm sorry 11 ie my bad silver zest oh seven got that yellow bottom going I know a lot of people don't like the IEs, which is why I'm prepared to get crushed. It's all good. I like the IEs personally, so this is my shoe. Who, who wants to go first? Kev? Marcus, we like see, to take I, this I, one. Go I'll, ahead, I'll, I'll go. I mean, and, and I'm not going to ask it because I actually have that shoe. I bought it when it first came out. Okay. So, but at the same time, I've never worn that shoe. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to have to pass it. I mean, oh, it's, it's a cool shoe. I just never wore it. I mean, but, you know, right. it's, it's cool shoe. But. I got you. It's all good. Um, What's up, Kev? Kev? Kev got this smirk on his face. Like, he ready to just get the charm out. What's up? I see you. Go ahead. It, it, I'm going to ask it. I'm going to ask it. I know. Uh, it's a it's an IE, I know. Yeah, I mean I have I have I a know. pair of IEs and I right. struggle to even think about where I'm like, yeah, you know, I'll put them on to go out and then if somebody takes a little <laughs> one second too long, I'll switch them out before I get out the door. I mean I I, I gotta I gotta I gotta ask them. No, I saw it. G N said Kulo. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, seeing the shoe you know, helps me better understand the origins of a hype beast. Uh, and, now, and now I know why you choose to buy the things that you buy, considering those were something of of, of value to you. No. Thank, thank you, um, Ben. Thank you, Ben. Listen, they're okay. They definitely look better with age, uh, unlike Marcus. Uh. <laughs> so I am just going to politely pass on those. <laughs> oh, y'all killing me. At least. <laughs> look better than his Tiger Wood look, man. Oh. I guess I can put y'all. <sighs> I'm going to pass. <laughs> Would really? you like to add in commentary to that? Right. I, I was going to say. <laughs> no. You have to take a pause. She's like, mm, I'm going to No, pass. I actually have look up. Up, but. <laughs> Are you having to? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I got one pair of IEs, and just like Cap said, like they never see the ground. And in fact, if I could find the receipt, I would send them back to Nike. <laughs> oh man! Like I know it's been a couple of years, Nike, but you just need to take this L for me, please. Thanks. Man. <laughs> I don't like the. Oh man, it's all good. It's all. Good. All right, so let's get these. Let's get these point totals down. Check the chat, because I'm sure the chat gave it straight up booty cheeks. Good, um, man. chat saying I look like Tiger. That's wrong. I said pass. It's a pass. It all right, how many passes we got? Everybody but you. All right. L and me. I get. I mean, I'm not gonna pass on my own shoe. Chat, thank you. I appreciate that. So you got four? No, five. No, four. 
Four pass, one gas. Yeah. You got six. Wait, one, yeah. Skip trying to say that's the best side of the out of the whole IE, but he wouldn't even use the red gloves to touch them shits. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, the best IE too. like, fuck it. These can get dirty. <laughs> Skip silly, man. I seen him say something earlier. I forgot what it was, though, but I was over here snickering, nah, man. <laughs> Skip, I appreciate just the pass, brother. I'll take that. <laughs> I had to I, I had to add some 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 spice to this shit. So I had to, I had to add it. All right. Who, who who next? I will go I'll go next. So mine 2002 release. Take these babies out the cases. Mm-mm. About to, oh, uh, 18? Somebody Eight? opening them cheeks. Get your number right. <laughs> <laughs> what? <sighs> so we got the Jordan 17. Still with the tag on. These oh, things, wow. uh, yeah, it's, they were supposed to be warm, but they just kind of sat there now. I was going to say, keep them in the case. Them? No, I've tried them on in the whole nine, but I never actually wore them. Wow. Bam. Okay. Stop! 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 At a Very nice, very nice. Go to work. Come on. These are, For those who don't know, this is Jordan's these return are, to the Wizards. These are whammies. <laughs> so what? What? The most expensive uh, at the time was it a buck eighty retail? Yeah. Damn, was it? Yep. I still got my little CD. Yeah. All right. Wow. Go ahead, Kev. All right, Kev, what you got? You sizing it up like it's... Um, he, he might have asked for it. He just think, he's just thinking of ways to say it. So before he gets too creative, he can go first. Oh. Let me... Oh. Uh, oh. Hey. All right, oh. hold on. Let oh. me, I'm going to give my I'm gonna oh. give my vote away on this one to, oh. one, of, to one of our usual suspects. Um, I'm going to give it to... I'm going to give it to KB. KB. KB? Project <laughs> 193, baby. Let's go. KB. <laughs> Take him to church. What we what we doing, man? <laughs> K, KB has left the building. Hey, if he's gone, then I'm a, I'm a road I'm a roll down. Then we got to go with sneaker sneaker RX. Nah, man. <laughs> We're, going We're going with Skip. We're going with Skip. Oh, Skip. Oh, there you go, KB. No, no, no. There you go. Here, there we go. Yeah, right, he's gassed. KB, he gassed it. So Boom. you get. Hey, you got you got. Hey. Cause you know I was going somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> why, wait, wait, why couldn't you throw that lob when it was my shit? That's your mouth. Because everybody was already asking it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I'm gonna start doing that. I'm gonna start giving my Marcus? my vote away. You don't gotta shoot. I'm I'm a. I mean, I actually had that shoe too, and that's another one I never wore. So I might have to pass it. I mean, it's, it's a dope shoe, but I just. It don't look right on my feet, so I have to pass it. A- um, before you go, Mo, do you need me to go look it up and, and see how much it, it resells for? Oh. No, man, I don't. Before what? you respond, what? see what y'all y'all foul, man. Y'all know I don't spend that much on shoes. Just the one pair. I'm a I'm gonna just give it a pass. I'm gonna just give it a pass, and you already know the reason. We ain't gonna say it again. No, I don't know the reason. It's too damn black. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. It is too damn black. What do you do when you look in the mirror? (laughs) I smile and I'm like, damn, I like what I see. Like, oh, there's a little bit of white. Too damn black. (laughs) Wow. I I know. I know. I know. When when you was working mall security the other night, (laughs) I had to jump on camera. It's too blowing right out. Everything else was. Mo, that's that's a light skin violation. You know, light skins are not allowed to go there. So we're gonna have to send one of them dark skinned brothers to rough his ass up. Oh, Brian Gumble looking up. Uh, Mike over there. Sound, no, Mike sound like uh Hey Mike will be like, in New York on, on Saturday, dog. Mike sound like Samuel L. Jackson and Django. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. Yo, that's all right. Polo, you better get his brother a hug. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to leave the brown skin brothers alone. Oh, man. All right. Team, team, oh, team light, light, light skin light. in the building. Drizzy. Light, light bright looking ass. All right. Let's, <laughs> let's get back. Let's get back on the track. That's all right. Elise, all right. What, what, let's we, go, Clyde. What, what were your, your thoughts on these charcoal? <laughs> gas, ass, or pass? Uh, gas. Uh oh. And wait. 
Can I say one thing? I sure. see like the live chat with all the girls. Mm-hmm. Can can the girls leave their Instagram so I can follow? Can I so I can search them and follow them back? That's hey. what's all, on, nice. all the girls. That's in, what's in the chat thing that I see. Hey, I want to follow gonna, them. There's gonna back. be there's gonna be dudes up in there like <laughs> <laughs> Pol- polos, <laughs> polos and Jordan forty five. Like follow me at Antoine Pixie Stick. <laughs> <laughs> ladies put your ig oh, names in the chat ladies danny put yours in there word y'all put your names in there heather Didi, Chantel, all is all is she in queen Q the queen that's it that is hers the one she got in there and Didi, we all know Didi, yeah gas. is uh um, so seven in there three gas marcus you had a pass marcus yeah, pass. pass and then you pass mo yeah i pass mm-hmm. so you're at 10 too Oh wait, what did chat say? Gas. Hello. The chat gassed it? Yes, sir. All right, you're at 10 too then. You got tied with Marcus. Uh-oh. Yeah, P- Pino is my favorite female sneakerhead, so wow. <laughs> sure <you> follow Pino. <laughs> Make sure you follow Pino. So get nah, you, but if you want that can do both. Him. <laughs> the heels and the, those and the J's. <laughs> See, y'all just y'all, y'all just messed up a good thing. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, he said it. Not me. He said it. I know you, you said back. it, but not everybody else. You got Skip. Skip being called a female just because he wear red gloves. I mean. Oh, man. <laughs> he got them Carmen I... San Diego gloves. He got right, so <laughs> can I self-identify for the follow back? That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. Lord. Oh, man. That's oh, wow. crazy. Um, Dan might have had a power outage. I think that's why he he's out of commission. Man, they must have some but, snow. But he got a, he got a phone, though. Tell him to pay I, his damn bill. But if he ain't got no power, he probably want to preserve his battery. See, oh. all them damn kicks he bought, he didn't pay his damn light bill. That's what <laughs> oh, man. That may have happened. Hey, you know, hey, you know they got the button now. They don't, they don't play. It's like, oh, you want to play games? Nine o'clock. Bam. Done. <laughs> you know they follow them on IG and shit. Oh, he just bought three pair of kicks. <laughs> what kind of light trying to give her brother lights free. <laughs> man. All right, let's let's go, um, Elise. I'm mad at it. Can you please follow me? <laughs> Did you, uh, you figure out what you want for your gap, Elise? Um, I'll go with. The- oh, oh, she killed y'all. <laughs> yes, it's over. We don't even do. do, do. We it was that. between this or the other one, but he picked it, so I'll do my ninety-seven. Yeah. That's, that's not fair. Yes, yeah, you're done. Uh, Listen, you you had a chance. Ain't no tiebreaker no more. She well, going. Can I go and get been another robbed. shoe? No, oh, I'm going to get another shoe. Now nah, you done. Now nah, you done. No, Y'all done. <laughs> in a reduce. She, she Welcome back, me. Dan. Welcome back. Daniel Scott. What up? Oh, man. What up? He thought you had a power outage. Um, paid nah. that bill? Paid that bill? Yeah, I paid the bill. I, I mean, I double checked to make sure. But... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure, like, maybe I didn't pay this amount of money. I'm going to bank account. Like, shoes, shoes, yeah. shoes, shoes, <laughs> shoes, shoes, bill, so, shoes, shoes. So y'all take He's PayPal? Like, Damn. <laughs> George, power. <laughs> no, it was just it was Comcast. I had to like re- like reset everything and then turn everything off and then power everything back up. I mean, I still don't have Wi Fi. Like my modems are just like my routers are just like fuck you guy. So like oh, it's man. hardwired. So like yeah, it's a thing. You got the hamster yeah. in there. You back. Wow. <laughs> you back? So it's all. All, all right. Good. It, you you came back just just in time um, for Elise's gap to get blown away. Just to bring you up, yeah, pretty much. So Marcus had the. Uh, 97 bread 12s, the flu games. Yep. Um, Mo had the cool gray 11 low IE. I had the uh, Jordan 17s, the 2002 joints in the case, the ones you saw. And um, Kev died, decided not to participate. He's just spectating. I knew that. And um, yeah, and then Elise has the 97 cherry, cherry 12. So I have the. Uh, Wait, we got to vote. We, we got to vote on the lease. We, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm throwing a flag, I mean, throwing a flag oh, on the play. It's about a guaranteed gap, but we, we still got to go around the horn. So, um, violation. Yeah, I, I'll, ga- I'll gas those. Yes, and everybody the chat, gas. The chat gassed it. Yeah, it's gas. Marcus, what do you? Marcus, I don't even want to vote. High octane. All right, go. Marcus said he got some gas, so well, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> All this gas. Cherry Cherry Twelves are the ones that I want really, really bad. Um, That's the ones everybody wants. It's, it's super I got bad. two. Hers I know you got two pair. I got two. All right. Oh, what size? Size. 
Yeah, size 11 and 10 and a half. Your size. Your size. It's... He will yeah. not give to you. He will not Full size run. We can make that work. What's your, what's your price on it, Ma? Yeah, that's a good one. Um, the size 11, dibs. you probably won't. Damn. I've already, I've, I called first dibs and I was in New Jersey, so. I <laughs> care about dibs. We're talking about bread. What, what's I'm your talking, price? I, I'm talking about eat a dick. That's what oh. I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't indulge uh, in, in, in activities like as, as yourself. Okay? That's well, why we don't have like women that. on the on the show. Because I'm about eating dicks. So. There's always, there's always <laughs> women if, in the always If you would if you would if you would have ate more dicks, if you'd ate more dicks, your lights wouldn't have got cut off, motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> shit. Anyways, wow. He said, yes. where, where your throat game at? All right. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. Anyway, so, so th- that's practice. cast across the board. Dan, you can 14. show you now, although I don't know if it matters. Yeah, uh, no. But go ahead, man. Um, but So this is my, my LeBron 2 <laughs> All-Star 2004. That's my oldest shoe that I have. Um, oh man, yeah, it's cool. I, I like it a lot, like, it makes me really happy. It's actually older than my son. Um, it makes but me really happy. <laughs> it does. Like, look at it, look at that <laughs> clean bottom. Like, like that thing is it's super dope, and I love it. So, um, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Let's see, lick it, lick it so we know it's real. Oh, oh. oh. oh here you go. I feel no thighs on my ears, so I ain't licking a damn thing. Oh. Oh, <laughs> get the oh, get the ranch in. Wow. You get said, that ranch. You, said oh, go you, got, you got oh, cheeks. You got damn, cheeks on your cheeks. Vengeance. <laughs> you got cheeks on your cheeks. Go ahead, Hell. Shit. No. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, cat, I'm, cat. I'm, I'm sorry, Lisa. I'm probably unnecessary. You cheeked up. So you cheeked up. Look at that. We know it's real. Help your boy. Help your boy. Yeah, yeah, that 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 might be the hashtag. <laughs> we can't hashtag that. We can't. Look at so you know it's real. Hashtag. <laughs> I mean, he showed the bottom, so it was like he was proud. I am proud. I am. But it's mainly because of this, though. Is I'm afraid to wear him. Like, oh, oh. Ooh. You just Dang. lost just the point. Just a joke, guys. Just a joke. <laughs> now you're going to have, you have an extra I special DM. You're just told another man to, get a, to, to, eat, to eat one. Right. I think you're good. <laughs> There's somebody right now sitting in just a tank top that's getting ready to get in your DM. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, um, anyway, anyway, so this is my shoe. Can we get the cat back on track? Kevin, what is it? Go, please. Help your boy. Uh, uh, I I I I I gas it, cause it's a LeBron. Yep. <laughs> All right, good. You're done. Um, Marcus. I'm gonna pass it. I, I'm not really feeling that silhouette, so I'm gonna have to pass. So, Mo, as as Daniel said, they came out in 2004 in something called an All Star Game. That's when the top players from the Eastern Conference they played the top players from the Western Conference in a game called basketball. Okay. <laughs> Why can't his connection just drop, please? Just <laughs> drop. I'm a, I'm a pass. I'm not a fan of it. So what? He light skin. They play that deal. Uh, you know, light skin do practice. You allowed to live in the house. <laughs> <I'm> not... <laughs> no, no, no whip marks on your back. Oh, so me, and LeVar, me, LeVar Burton. Yeah. And... Dan is from the south, and you're south of the Mason Dixon line, so I'd be careful there. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Hey, Dan? One phone call, brother. One phone call. Oh man, they come get you. How about this you DC tax evasion. <laughs> J. Edgar Hoover gonna be. <laughs> so my shoe, my shoe loses. So your shoe loses. Uh, I'll give it a gas, Dan. I got you, dog. My dog. Thank you. You know. All right. So and, um, our Elise, winner, Elise, Elise. Elise. I'm gonna gas it. Oh, hey. she gassed it. She still gassed it. Oh, there you go. She's Boom. A... That's because she already had it in the bag. She's a G. Yeah. Yeah. I'll gas it. Wait, I'm wait, already hey, wait. One. Do you have them? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, okay. They're pity points. It's okay. I'll take them. It's all great. Right. So yes, here's the deal, Elise. So you have to come up with a gap topic for next week, which is the season finale. No pressure. Uh, okay. <laughs> She's like, uh. She said, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, so you just have to choose a theme for the You'll have to do it on the spot. Right. We just need to think about what would be a dope topic for us to oh, have. Oh, I don't have to do it on this spot? No, nah, we'll go with it. Okay. Skip said, Skip Black Ass would be way the fuck out of the field. 
<laughs> I can't. Is Skip coming to New York? We gotta have some more participation, oh, man. God. Hey, remember when Skip was on Remember the Titans? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no mountain, huh? <laughs> you do look like him, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Bye right. to your mama. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Hold up, I got to mute you. I know P. It was PG. So is PG? What? Was PG in the? uh, Is PG in the chat? I don't know. No, I don't. don't, Why are you asking? (laughs) That's the question. (laughs) Never mind. Yeah, no. (laughs) No. Yeah. Anyway, um, so who who won? Like, so that. At least one, and then we're yes. moving forward now. All right, dope. Yep. Congratulations, All right. Elise. Yes, absolutely. Killed it. Nice you job. Chattered Marcus, which is always an accomplishment. You are now like an official member. Aficionado. All right, so we are uh, going to go into the topic. So yes, let's... sir. Yes, sir. Pause. So topic number one. Oh, wait. Oh, man. No, I'm, my Sponsor, bad. Man, you getting fun. ahead of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what? Take his light skin privileges away. All right, we're ready. <laughs> See the drop. Listen, man, I don't know. Yeah, anyways, um, really? A whole pan of cookies? <laughs> Your big ass just What? Over a whole pan. Daniel's big ass got a whole pan of cookies. Jesus he didn't grab a couple. Christ. He grabbed the whole daggone tray. Please zoom in on this, man. You got a pan. Hold on a second. He ain't saying <laughs> that. No shame. He's like, I no. fuck you with a silent show, it's not even picking up the mic. Can we can, can we at least hey, find out what kind? You over there looking like Dan Rue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyways, Peter, anyways, Piper um, picked up. <laughs> <laughs> Snatchies. Anyways, uh, topic number one: definition of an OG shoe. I mean, I think yeah, that was, that was something. I was, uh, well, I mean, it, it's not so obvious as what you think, because there was a conversation on IG, and it was on Sneaker Fan Dan's page, and I can't remember who else it was, and they, they said to bring it up on the show, and I, I felt like it was a, a pretty good topic, but um, what what do you consider an OG? Let's say we look at the Jordans, mm-hmm. and uh, the, the thing that came up was someone was saying that the cool gray 11s was considered an OG Jordan, which no. in my opinion, mm. it wasn't. But they said, here here was their, their logic behind it. Jordan Ward in a game during his career, so it should be considered an OG. That hmm. being that any PE, any PE mm-hmm. that came out, like with a any type of type of, that looks like it at all would be considered an OG. I think if it wasn't available to the public, then it's right. not an OG, I mean. Right. So the OG shoot to me, and we'll, we'll just keep it Jordans because that's simple. Would be a shoe that came out, you know, when when the actual silhouette released. So your ninety seven twelves, the breads, that's an OG. You know what I mean? And right. the flu games and everything thereafter, that's just an OG colorway or OG theme. It's a retro. Right. 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 But an an, o, an OG specifically is a shoe that was released in the or the colorway that was released in the year of release. Right. Right. So right. like. With the fives, you have the black tongue, fire red, grape, and um, Man, black. Yeah, black metallic. Uh, black, uh, metallic. black metallic. Thank right, you. Black metallic. Right, with the, with yeah. the fours is military blue, black cement, white cement. Cement. It, fire red. It's cement. And, and fire red. Fire red. The threes are their white cement, black cement, and then fire red. Um, and then and true, true blue. blue. Like, so there are, like, it, it's not like now, like now, when there's a release, there's like 19 colorways. Right. But when back then, you know, you got like five. Like that was it. Oh, you know, like, the, <laughs> like the sixes. Like the sixes had five. You know, the, four, the fours had four. The threes had four. The fives had five. Wait, four, the sixes had. Ugh. New Maroon, Sport you know Blue, it is? White IR, Black IR, and Carmine. Five. Yeah. Those are the oh, five yeah. OG colorways. My, we, we, I love. I love OG colorways. I love so. I mean, like I can, I can like generally one through fourteen. I can name the OG colorways. So, you know, when people are like, "Oh, this shoe's OG," if it's not ninety-seven, but the twelves, like the like Marcus, you had the the bread ninety-sevens blue game whatever, and then she had the cherries. Right. You yeah. know, those are, those are OG colorways. Oh, those are OG. Those are OG. The year they came out. 
everything else is an OG colorway. It's an OG retro or OG whatever, you know. Um, so, I mean, just because... Here, here's the out, thing. Uh, a lot of the shoes that are considered OG didn't come out during the same year. As, I mean, like, if you look at if you look at the six, the original six that came out was the white and infrared, which came out in 90. And then the other colors came out in 91. So... Right. Well, I remember when the black, the white, and the carmine came out, but then the sport blue and the new maroon came out afterwards. Right. Yeah. right. But they don't always like, necessarily like, come out in the same year, though. That's the thing, though. You don't want to get that many. Because a lot of times, they drop in September, usually around when school first starts. Right. And then the right. new shoes come out around January or February, yeah. closer to the All-Star game. So it's right. not but always I mean, necessarily the same year. So look, OK, well, let, let me correct then and say season. All right, it's the season. It's the season for it, and that's really what we're talking about. Is that season? Yeah, the first run. The original, the, the original run. release. When they first released, right, right. Not so the stuff like, that came afterwards. Like right. now, like with, for example, like the LeBron ten, right? There are what thirty colorways of LeBron tens, <laughs> easy right, right now. So right. We, we, yeah, so when you talk about retro in that shoe, like you're talking about retroing literally, like like every color that they could possibly come out with is going to be an OG colorway because they've made so many things. So it's not like, excuse me, how it was back then. So, you know, it's something different. Um, like, but, you know, so I guess like the Laney and the white metallic kind of get like people like, oh, it's OG. Like I've, I've heard people refer to the cool gray nines as being like, oh, it's OG. That shit is not OG. Like there's one or two nines. What was that noise? My fart. <laughs> That's, <your fart. laughs> That's fucking intense. There, there were three. There were three OG nines. You had the powder, the playoff, and the olive. Those were the original nines that came out. Right. So, no, I'm you had you had the olive. What olive? The black. I said the olive. The I olive. The, the olive, black. The, the olive. The black. The powder, and the uh, space jam or the. No, the black. The playoff. Out. No, the playoff. black. The black charcoals were out. Playoff. The black charcoal came out. Well, yes, yeah, OG, but it came out the following year from those first uh, three. Elise, what do you think? To me, when I think about what an OG is, is just the original colorway. But I see his point too. When you guys are talking about the cool grays, it kind of makes sense. But I've never ha been asked that question before, so that's kind of different. But to me, it's just like the OG colorway. Because if a retro comes out, you're comparing it to the OG, yeah, right. So. Right. but but when if another colorway of the cool grays come out, what are you gonna call? Right, I mean, well, that would be it. Just say retro that yeah, color. Right, it yeah. would just be retro, the cool gray, right. retro. Cool gray, retro. Right. right. So like like when you're talking about like the cool gray nines, because the cool gray nines came out like when did they cut? They get dropped a long time. Two thousand two. Two thousand. Right. Oh, no. so, that long ago. Yeah. Yeah. I got. I got. I do have. A, I do have a pair of those. I like, so, like, in the basement. so like the Laney, the Laney has been released twice. The white metallic has been released twice. Mm -hmm. You know, both of those are the fives mm -hmm. on the five specifically that I'm talking about. So when you're talking about like those two, they're old enough and people are like, oh, that's not OG. It is, uh, you know, this is an OG one, you know, but it's not, it's not an OG because OG specifically in my mind, like when I hear this is OG, like I was actually editing the Jordan part of your collection video. Yes, and you were like, and you were holding up the great five, and you were like, OG. Oh, I'm like, and that's, I, I interrupted you to correct you because I'm like, that's not, I was like, that, is that shoe from 19? Yeah, the great, the great five is OG. Right, but no, not he knows it's an OG colorway, but the, the one, one that I had was a retro, retro, and I called it the OG, right? Dot, 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 colorway. Right. And Dan, damn there, like, leaped into the camera, into frame, like, no. Oh, no, I leaped, in, I leaped into the frame. <laughs> <laughs> I walked into the frame and was like, you "Yo, you're not call that an OG." So, Marcus was an yeah. OG or OG colorway that the that the discussion. Was? The, the originals, the original shoes are OG. Period. Right. Now, when you retro it, when you come back and you make a concord, even though it's right. exactly like the original concord, right? It's still to me a retro in an OG colorway. Oh, right, right. of course. Right, right. I think that's that's ultimately what it is. It's like, do you have the OG? That's that only applies to the original shoe. Right. The one that came the out in the year in which that model came out. You know what I mean? Yes. Whether that bled into another calendar year or not, you know what we mean. That right. came out way back when, when Marcus supposedly had hair. Um, I still do. Now, now, in the OG colorway. <laughs> to your face. 
So, <laughs> it, it's just that. It's an OG colorway. You know what I mean? So when you're copping that, like the Navy 13s, the Chutney 13 Lows, those are OG colorways. Right. You yes. know what I mean? Yep. Those are not the OGs. And they right. never can be because they're a retro. And I think that ultimately is where I would draw the line. Yes. Fuck it. Agreed. What's next? <laughs> Wait, do, we have, do we have a drop? Am I allowed to continue? Can no, I just have a no we're in the topics, man. We stay right, in bet, the topics. Bet, bet. So, um, listen, you guys shared that a, a certain video with me um, about someone, you know, getting sold some fakes. And then, you know, in our chat, we've had conversation with, you know, uh, just about various resellers, uh, whether it be Kick Square, whether it be, um, you know, some other third party. And ultimately, what we were talking about is, what is the reseller etiquette? You know, what is reasonable time for shipping? What is reasonable communication? You know, mm. what? Hold up a second. You get, Give me one second. You on the StockX? Give me one second. Oh, we're offline? Yeah, for a second. It'll be back. Up. Oh, we, we, no drop midsole. <laughs> no, we had one. We had one. We had one. Oh, we, did? we had one before. Well, I know you, yeah, we dropped, I know you dropped no, one. No, we're back. No, we're back. We're back. Uh, we're back. Yeah. So, so basically, you know, what's, what is reseller etiquette? And I'll give you two days. And hold up, and let's let's kind of break this into two different parts because I know there's a part that some people in the chat want to discuss. So let's touch on the reseller etiquette first, and then we'll right. get into the specific something specific uh, after this one. But correct, okay. let's go. So yeah, so, I, so for me, from the reseller etiquette perspective, I think two days is more than enough time to be able to get the shoes out. I've been in a situation where it, from a reseller, it's taken a week to get something out. And then when you try to contact them and it's not Nike, we're talking like, you know, smaller resellers, they're not answering back and they've got their phone number, which is their cell phone number, which to me is not professional. Um, but I mean, you gotta be, in, you gotta make the customer feel comfortable, right? You can't sit on there for seven days and not say anything. And you damn sure can't re not return messages. If you're going to be seven days late, at least be in contact and say, hey, here's what's going on. We're going to get it out at this time. But I think to me, two days is more than realistic. Just like StockX. When we sell stuff on StockX, you got two days to get it out. You may not be able to get it out that day, but two days, yeah. I think that to me is your, is the cap. Per yeah, I mean, I, I definitely, I agree with that. And I mean, and I'll, and I'll, I'll be specific here uh, because... I mean, like, I've, everybody knows I bought shoes from Kick Square, and I think that, you know, when it works, mm. it, it's great. But there's <laughs> been times where, like, it's just like when you b let somebody borrow money, and then they go out to the club, and they out here buying drinks, like, bro, you owe me money, man. Like, you know, don't post, <laughs> don't be posting on Instagram and stuff. When I sent you a message about, you know, yo, what's going on? You know, you were supposed to send these, you know, five days ago, and I have, I got a tracking but I don't have any movement on that tracking number. Like, bro, I mean, if you're that big where you can't do that, then I just wait until you can either do it or I'll go somewhere else. Because, right. I mean, once I spend the money, I'm expecting the shoe. Like, I mean, we've gotten shoes in like two, three days, right? I mean, we, we order shoes from Finish Line, Foot Locker, all the big name mm -hmm. stores. I get it. I mean, I've ordered shoes from SNS overseas and get them in three days. So... <laughs> If you live if you live in Florida or whatever, I'm expecting my shoes in in three days. I mean, right. you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying. So, but, like, but here, here's the problem. Here's the problem that you guys run into with these early sites that sell these shoes. You don't even know if they have them when you're ordering these shoes. Just because it well, says buy it now, you don't know that. And a lot of times they're waiting to go and pick them up from somebody else who may be getting them that weekend of release. And I think that's probably what. Mo we end up running into this time. No, I'm talking Wait, about so sometimes. Sometimes it'll it'll general. say it'll say in hand because I won't buy it unless it says in hand. Because if you don't do it, you run the risk of getting it after the the you know the, the pair drops, and you could just buy them for the regular price. Why would you spend the upcharge to get oh, them early a premium. if you're just gonna still get them when everybody else does? I mean, yeah, but who, I mean, just because it says on there in hand doesn't mean that they actually 
actually physically have those shoes in stock. Well, if you don't have them, if you don't have them in hand, then, then don't, don't advertise it. That's like yeah, we got it. we got real shoes, right. but we sent you a ninety eight percent or deal okay, with but, it. But, I mean, but you're not gonna get hundred percent honesty in this. In, I mean, in, in this business. I mean, so you guys you have. Not, then you're not gonna thrive either. Then you choose not. Okay, to but they're thriving. They're thriving. I mean, okay, you may go and pick up three or four shoes that they may have early that they can send to you. But then you go and order that one shoe that they may not have, or they may oversell. Tell me you don't have it. Don't don't, that, don't say you don't, have it. I understand that, but do you think you're gonna get 100 percent honesty from a reseller? We're talking about resellers. But then you're gonna get 100 so percent negative feedback from somebody that may have right. some type of influence. You're gonna get 100 percent called out, like yeah, mm -hmm. kick square. <laughs> how long did it take? How long did it take well, for you to get your shoe? Man, you let me tell you something. Or ordered the shoes on 11 11. They were supposed to ship 11 8. I had to reach out to PayPal on 11 26. Wait, you ordered the shoe? They were supposed back. to. This nigga got a time machine. I took your song. 11 11? You was ordering shoes on the Twilight Zone. <laughs> November 11. November 11. They, they were supposed, supposed to be ship shipped. Out. No, that's when I purchased them. They were supposed to ship on 11 18. Okay. 11 26, they had not shipped. You did say 11, yeah, I'm sorry. 11